West Sports Desk. Welcome back. Today, Gonzaga hosted craziness in the kennel, and as always, the event was jammed packed. Sports director Darnay Tripp joins us now from the festivities to wrap up the day. All is quiet here in the kennel, but quite a different scene earlier this afternoon. You could have convinced folks it was mid-February and not early fall. The way things looked here inside the McCarthy Athletic Center, it is a testament to what this Gonzaga program has become that on some Saturday in October, it feels very much like college basketball season. Craziness in the kennel went down exactly one month until the Zags tip off the season against Idaho State, and Gonzaga fans are in mid-season form. Check out the crowd lined up just as they open the doors to the McCarthy Athletic Center. I took this time lapse right Right around three o'clock, a long line wrapped around the parking lot to get into the building. They are ready for college hoops in Spokane, and that wasn't lost on Mark Few when he gave his annual address to the crowd. I just stand in the tunnel thinking there can't be any place in America three o'clock on Saturday afternoon where people are lined up thousands of them beginning to watch a scrimmage. So The Kennel Club was in full force as always, and one of the highlights of this event, the slam dunk contest. Last year, that's where we got our first glimpse at Brandon Clark, the San Jose State transfer. He showed the hops again today, two 360 dunks to win the event against Corey Kispert and Greg Foster Jr. All right, how about the game itself? Josh Perkins was just recently cleared to play following offseason shoulder surgery. He led the red team with 10 points. Zach Norvell, uh, we know what he can do after his fantastic freshman season, getting buckets like he always does. He paced the blue side with 10 points. Running alongside to him was Clark, who will make a huge impact on both ends of the floor. Did great work defensively on Rui Hashimura. See the block shot. Also had a tip in eight points for him. The Blue Squad wins, and the guys happy to be back on the floor in front of the fans. Our, our players really, really enjoy this and look forward to it all. I think just to get kind of out there and, and get juiced up and, and feel the adrenaline and the excitement and all that, they, you know. Uh, I think they thoroughly enjoy this day. So uh, as long as we don't get anybody hurt, that's about the only thing I care about. And uh, then we can start getting serious here after this. So. Uh, it was great, you know, getting back out there with the guys uh, in front of the fans. You know, they're a big reason of our success. And uh, it was good to put a show on for them. So this being my fifth time doing it, that it should be another you know, thing for me. But I got them same hair bumps, same juice bumps, same gut feeling, same nervous stuff, seeing all these people out here supporting us. So. I mean, this place is, is unreal. I, mean, I really, truly really believe the best fans in the country. Now, there was some news before craziness started. Redshirt sophomore center Jakob Larson is no longer with the team. He stepped away for personal reasons, but is still in school at Gonzaga. I asked Mark Few about the situation. Uh, you know, he's not with our team right now. Uh, he's still in school. Um, he's got some things going on personally that... He needs to, you know, address, and, and uh, we're 100% behind him. Uh, everybody is, and, and helping him every which way we can, and you know, uh, hopefully it'll uh, end up being a great story. I also asked Mark Few about North Dakota transfer Gino Crandall. He said he's still working on finishing up what he needs in order to graduate, but he was optimistic, says he should be fine. And if all goes according to plan, he will be available to start the season when the Zags tip things off November 6th, right here in the kennel against Idaho State. Reporting inside the McCarthy Athletic Center, Darnay Tripp, Krem 2 Sports.